This is a Sony CFD112 CD cassette radio. And the problem with this unit is that when I insert a CD disc, it does not show the table of content or how many tracks are on the CD, which is the first thing that any CD players should read. The disc spins uh, one or two times before it comes to a halt. And when I press play, it shows this track one and stops, returns to track zero. And since the disc actually spins, it means the motor is still good. It's possible that the laser pickup unit is bad, while the laser diode itself is also bad. It's also possible that the laser is good and the cause is some other component or the power controller on the laser pickup unit. So I found a substitute laser pickup unit to replace it and let's see how that will work. To open the case of the CD player, you need a long screwdriver, something like this. And this is sufficient by itself to reach most of the screws inside. However, for these two holes, they are too deep and this screwdriver by itself wouldn't reach. So I attached another screwdriver with the tape to extend the reach. And from here, I can loosen the screws and remove them. So once all the screws from the back are removed, the CD player opens up easily. You just have to remove the front cover. And remove the attached wires. So here's one. There's only one connector you need to remove to remove the speaker from the and here we have a transformer which steps down the voltage and here we have the tape mechanism. So in order to access the CD player, first you have to remove the tape mechanism held in by four screws. So here's one. Now, notice that on this part, there is a connector that's connected to the volume control board and gently pull it towards you to remove it but with a little bit of force because otherwise you won't be able to remove it. So now this is removed, there is one more cable behind the tape mechanism, detach it, and you can see the CD player unit. And in order to remove the CD player unit, first you have to remove the indicator of the AM FM radio station that's held in by three screws. Remove this one. And two more here. So 
So now this is loose, but you don't have to actually completely detach it. It's a flexible plastic part, you can just move it aside to make way for this sliding CD unit. And from here, you can just uh, attach, uh, detach these two screws, which I already removed from here and from here. After you remove the screws, you can just slide the CD player unit towards you and it comes off. So from here you can see this is the logic board that controls everything on the CD. And they're also held in by four screws. Remove those to gain access to the mechanism of the CD transport. Now, detach it. And this logic board is connected to the actual CD transport, transport mechanism by two cables. Remove these gently and remove the one on top. And remove the third one that's attached to the motors to free this so here you're looking at the actual CD mechanism remove the screws that hold in the shock absorber now lift the CD transport mechanism out of place and you can see the CD that I forgot inside. So from here we have to remove the protective cover for the CD lens. So now the cover is unscrewed, remove it and expose the laser pickup unit. The laser pickup unit is blocked by this white gear, gently pull it out and now you want to use a flat head screwdriver like this insert between the space of this steel bar and push it toward the left side make it come out. Now slide out the steel bar and remove the CD pickup unit. Before you install the replacement pickup unit, pay attention to this very important detail. At this solder point, it's actually two contacts that have been soldered together to protect electrical static discharge. So you have to remove the solder before you can use this pickup unit. So here's another pickup unit that has the solder removed. So take a look closely here, you can see that the solder has been removed from this point and there are actually two contacts that are not touching each other. And if you don't remove the solder, the pickup unit will not work. Now I'm reassembling the cover over the laser pickup unit. And earlier when I disassembled it, this spring fell and I'm not exactly too sure about its exact placement except that it belongs to this place but I'm not sure what where this part goes 
and if anybody knows please comment on this video and let me know and however it doesn't seem to affect our operation of the CD player and now let's see with a new laser pickup if we can play the disc oh look there it reads the table of content 14 tracks 53 minutes and play good now it's working next track Okay, so the problem was the laser pickup unit and that was a repair that fixed the problem without spending too much money 